Hey, friends of the leaf. Hope everybody's doing good. Let me get this thing adjusted here. I, before we get started, I want to make an apology. I want to I want to say thank you and also make an apology. Thank you for watching my videos uh, the last two or three, and thank you for putting up with me for not commenting. Uh, I haven't been able to comment on this iPad. Some of my close friends who I stay in contact with on the phone and whatnot know that uh, my uh, laptop has been down. We got a friend in Houston that is uh, doing some work on it, and I'm not rushing them anything because it's not costing me anything other than parts to get it fixed. And uh, uh, so I'm on the tablet, and uh, up until just tonight, <laughs> I, I haven't been able to type in any comments, and I finally figured out. I thought I had figured it out the other day when I had talked to Guy Witherspoon one day earlier in the week, but had figured out how to how to comment and type in on YouTube, and I, I was wrong, I didn't, so uh, as of tonight, I can comment, and so I'm way behind on comments on my own videos, I, I'm w I have way behind on commenting on videos that I have watched, and so I may not even go back on uh, near about all of them, there's no way that I can and comment. I never will catch up, but uh, I have been watching y'all's videos, and uh, uh, have enjoyed them immensely, and uh, just haven't been able to type and post and comment. So um, I've gotten I've got some private messages that I've got to answer. I couldn't do I couldn't even pull those up, but I had it's. Uh, Sometimes it takes a young person to, <laughs> uh, a, a, a child to show you how to work these things. And in my case, it rang very true. But anyway, I'm excited about a new blend I picked up tonight at Governor's. It's my second Drew Estate purchase in the last couple of weeks. And I'm probably more excited about this one than the first. I've not shown y'all either one of them. Um, he's taking on the Drew Estate line at uh, Pipe Tobacco lineup at Governor's and uh, Friday has and of course he's also got a new house blend called Breakfast Blend that is just absolutely awesome. If you like 1Q this one's going to knock your socks off because it's better than 1Q. It was blended to resemble it but it's just so much more creamier. It's just it's just an awesome. It's one of the. Um, it'll be in my top ten, probably in the top three of the top ten. But anyway, the one I'm smoking tonight just picked it up. I'm on my second bowl of it, so it's a little soon to make a super judge. Well, it's not so, not too soon to tell you how much I like it, and that's the the Drew Estate Toasted Black Cavendish. And for those of y'all who have never seen this or smoked it, I want you to get a load of this. When I opened it up, it's not black cavity. Oh, it's there. But this is a beautiful, and this camera is not doing it justice. Um, there's tons of black cavendish in it. Just an absolutely beautiful tobacco. And um, big old flakes of black cavendish in it, but it is, uh, it's got to be some flu cured, uh, fire cured Virginias. Um, Admiral's Row blend, toasted black cavendish. Okay, it says uh, the only description it says um, you can smoke this all day long and never be without company as the aromatics capture everyone within a wisp of your smoke. A mild and flavor, flavorful blend of toasted cavities with notes of vanilla and pure fire-cured tobaccos. Look, the smell of this, a 10-note, is awesome. 
the flavor is just magnificent. It, you do taste the a little vanilla in it, but I tasted some other fruitiness of just just had this is on my second bowl, and I haven't smoked it enough to pull out all the nuances on it. And I'm not the best in the world at that anyway. But I'm just telling you, take my word for it. If you like any kind of aromatic, even if you don't like an aromatic, but you're a once in a while aromatic smoker, you're gonna like this one. And, of course, I always like their artwork on their tent. The other one that I have grown very fond of is Central Park Cent, yeah, Central Park Stroll. Uh, a lot of theirs are named after New York-type stuff, Harvest on the Hudson and whatnot. It says, we really cherish the days when we'd stroll through Central Park on a lazy summer afternoon. This, this sweet aroma makes you feel like you're standing outside a bakery. Nose chocolate, vanilla, caramel blend. Notes chocolate, vanilla, caramel blend harmoniously with mellow tobaccos. Um, and this, this, yeah, you can taste a little caramel in this vanilla, absolutely, and it's it's good. But on first two smokes, I like this Drew Estate better, and I've got her. I've got it loaded up in this uh, one of my favorite pipes. So this is one of my top three favorites. It's a little tender box uh, pot. I love a pot shape. Has a honey colored stem, some very nice graining, flame grain. This is just one of my all around favorites. It smokes good, feels good in the in the. Got a good feel to it. Good draw. Good, good feel in the hand. Now there's a little dottle left from the old bow. So guy, you'd like this. It's got that sizzle to it that you like so well. But um, speaking of Guy Witherspoon, I have uh, treated myself or allowed myself to have a, a nice little treat tonight. I have, uh, Phyllis, my wife, and Miss Emily have turned in kind of early, and I've been watching a repeat of the bucket list and messing around and watching videos and I need to be catching up on new ones, but I, I got off into some reruns and uh, some of Guy Witherspoon's old reruns. And if you hadn't had a chance, you know, I see a lot of people say, you know, neither nightly dose of Guy Witherspoon. I know Glenn, uh, I've seen his comments that he truly enjoys getting his nightly dose. So, you know, it's just, the guy's one of those, and y'all hear me talk about him all the time too. He, it's just a very relaxing smoothing, calming effect that, that I get, and certainly others do too, of watching him. And um, you owe it to yourself to go back and watch. He's got a couple of hundred or more videos up. You owe it to yourself to go back and watch some of the beginnings. And some of my favorites are his, like, pipes and tunes or pipes and jazz, where he would play some of his... Uh, big band music in the background and this was back before as as using his own words before he was dinged by the YouTube police <laughs> I've got some air draw back in here too um, and it's a shame you know but he used to we used to listen to some we could he play as Artie Shaw and Benny Goodman and, and I tell you I just absolutely loved listening to uh, hear listening to guy talk and his music you know I, I've been exposed to big big band swing type music as others all my life I mean we had a radio station here for years and years and, and one of my dad's places he they kept the radio on and they'd play it some back when I was a teenager and 
he wasn't a big listener of it, but one of the guys that worked for him loved it, and they kept the radio station on that. And so I got accustomed to some of it, and, and always kind of enjoyed it. And but I really, <clears throat> guy got me really, guy Witherspoon got me really interested in it, and and uh, I've developed a passion for listening to it. I turned it on, uh, turned the TV on. Uh, uh, satellite on the satellite radio and listen to it. I think it's channel 801 on our satellite and, and uh, I keep it on a lot of times. A lot of mornings I'm getting ready for work. But late in the evening if I'm just wanting to relax and uh, smoke a pipe, I'll turn it on. It's <clears throat> really enjoyable. So guy, thank you for the, making the, taking the time to do these videos. Uh, you're one of you're one of my favorites to watch, and uh, I'm like uh, Glenn and others. I've got to have my nightly dose, and I thank you again for taking the time to do it. And like I say, it's, it's always fun to go back. Look at the older ones. He's, his tonight was on his rare um, KBB, you know, the 1920s pre K Woody yacht. Beautiful, beautiful pipe. I've seen him do a video way early on um, in his YouTube career, as he as he says sometimes. I, I've seen him do that, and uh, it was a treat to get to see that beautiful pipe again. Well, not a lot else been going on, just just working. As far as cigars go, what I've been kind of smoking is my daily go-to, a little Five Vegas Series A, and another one that I've fallen in love with. And these are these are these are cigars you can pick up in the I buy on the cigar bids, and I'm you know three dollar range. They're inexpensive enough. You can. Um, uh, or to smoke a couple of these a day. I smoke, try to smoke the better ones at night or on the weekend. One of them is this La Perla Madura. Look, some of you guys that like a fuller smoke, this thing, had, you pick up some great nuances in it too. And went to an event uh, at Governor's the other night um, with CLE and the... Uh, the asylum people, and uh, I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right. I'll chop this up, I'm sure, but E I R O A. Ero, Eroa. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna, and I heard them call the name, and I, and I cannot. But let me tell y'all, this is a fantastic smoke. Um, I think it's got a Corojo wrapper. But I'm. I, but let me let me double check this before I start telling y'all a whole lot about. It. This is a new cigar by the I think the CLE people. Really great. They gave us uh, this is a Madura here, and Friday Ellis at Governor's now has this lineup in, and it, this is about a I think an eight or ten dollar stick. And of course this uh, this one I have not tried, but uh, I've tried the other Asylum. This is the Asylum Thirteen. I'm, I may smoke it smoke it tomorrow night. But that's kind of what I've been doing on, kind of what's been going on with the cigars. And the other day I picked up, the uh, Governor's has these too, um, called 33 Cigars. It's a taster's tasting notebook, you know, the book where you, you uh, keep up. It's got the little uh, flavor wheel, and you you can put your um, label or you know the cigar band. You tape them to the to the deal. Like there's a aroma to Cuba, uh, a nub Cameroon, and uh, this is a Legends that I want to be able to refer to. This is an orange label. Rocky Patel. I've got some Nestor Placentia's coming. Um, 
Here's another one, Aroma Craft. Uh, and another Rocky Patel. A Five Vegas High Primings, which is my absolute favorite of the Five Vegas series, is their High Primings. And um, so that's what's been going on with me. Not a lot else. Just busy, busy, busy with the holidays and dealing with uh, computers and not being able to comment like I like to. And but that's um, we got all that ha figured out now. So, and again, thank you all for staying with me and watching even though I wasn't returning any comments and couldn't, I thank y'all for still watching me. And uh, I'm going to get back and answer some of these, uh, reply to some of these comments. But anyway, I'm going to wrap this video up, get it downloaded, and uh, we'll try to go back. I'm, I'm kind of thinking about going fishing. The weather has been mild here in the last couple of days, and it's going to be mild the next two days, other than good possibility of rain showers scattered showers, but um, if I don't go fishing, I'm, I'm, I'm more than likely not going to, going to meet uh, Hoss, a.k.a. Cameron Myers, at uh, Governor's tomorrow. He's going to educate us on the uh, spirits, the, the drink, the spirit uh, absinthe, and we're going to have a little, uh, little instruction tomorrow and sample a glass or two of absinthe. So anyhow, y'all take care as always and uh, have a good weekend, a good holiday coming up. Thank y'all for your friendship, for watching, and as always, God bless you.